Hey guys, thank you for joining me again. Um, I'm Trish Canale and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get the red out. Let me show you what I'm going to be doing here. Um, this photo has been very generously provided to me by Miss Sarah Bell of the Sarah Bell Photography. And you can find her at her website right there, sarahbellphotography.net. Check her out. She's very talented. And this happens to be the very handsome Mr. Sarah Bell Photography. So hello sir, I'm going to be getting your red out today. So this is our before and then this is going to be our after. And let me zoom out to, so you can see. So that's our after and the before with the undesirable red tones in the face, which is really common and kind of complicated to get out, but it's I'll make it easy for you, I promise. You can do it. All right, so let's zoom back in here. And I'm going to start from scratch. So the first thing I always do with any of my pictures before I work on them is I make a duplicate background layer. Now you can do this by either right clicking on the background, if I can get my little click guy to work. Um, and I think that's below the camera, but then you can click duplicate layer. Or you can take you can drag it down to this new layer button and just let go and you've got a duplicate layer. I do that so in case I accidentally work on something that I'm not supposed to, I have um, an extra layer of the original. So first what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, go up to my adjustment layer masks and I'm going to open up hue saturation. And it's really tempting to just go to reds and drag them down all the way. Um, but then, come on, he looks like a vampire and not a sexy Twilight vampire. He looks like, um, he, he looks kind of dead. So we definitely don't want that. Let me put this back to zero. Um, but I am going to work on the reds. So you go up to here to this um, drop down bar that says master and I'm going to click on reds or alt 3 and I do want to drag down the saturation of the reds just a little bit I'm going to go with about negative 6 just to get that intensity out of there and I'm going to try moving around the hue of the reds too move it up and get a, give it a little um, warmth, a little more of a yellow tone. And then, now that I'm happy with uh, the direction that the reds are going, I'm going to go back up to my drop down bar and I'm going to work on the yellows because it's not just the reds that you want to work on, you want to work on basically all of the, all of the warm tones in the, f in the face. So, um, let's bring the yellow saturation. I see a lot of, uh, it's, it's oversaturated in the shadows here with the yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that saturation down just until I'm happy with it. Okay, now you could stop here before and after, but I'm going to show you a really cool trick um, to even out skin tones. I use this quite a bit. I use this in nearly every retouch that I do. Come here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to kind of close this, go back to my uh, menu here. I'm going to click on hue saturation again and this time I'm going to click colorize and I'm going to drag the hue to something that kind of looks a little bit like a skin tone. Yeah, right there's good. And I'm going to boost the saturation of that a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to fill in that layer mask right here. You can click your paint bucket, make sure that it's on black, and just fill in the whole mask. And then I'm going to go over here to my brush, and let's make that bigger. So we're going to do this in one stroke. Okay, that's good. Now you want a soft brush, but not too soft, about 50%. And your opacity is going to be going down to around um, 
I would I would say not over, nothing over 25, maybe 23. Okay, make sure that your color is on white because we're going to be choosing what we want to show in this mask. And then just color right over his face. And this will even out that skin tone, give you a nice, even looking appearance. Just make sure that you get it all covered one time. And since we're using a mask, we can go outside the lines. We'll be able to fix that in a minute. But the most important part is that you don't lift up your mouse or your pen from your pen tablet. Okay, so let's see the before. And there's the after. Now, let me zoom in here to his eyes because we don't want to discolor the whites of his eyes. I'm going to go back to my brush and click black. Let's get a smaller brush. Okay, and then I'm going to change the opacity to 100% and fill in his eyes with black. And let's get his teeth too. Let's take a look. Very nice. Now I notice that there is still a little bit more redness in his ears and that's very common. We're going to fix that with a selective color layer. I'm going to make a selection just of his ears. This is a sample. You don't have to get it right. Just um, take a sample. Click back here. And I'm going to use selective color. Now the important thing here over in your layers. I'm going to drag that layer down below that that colorized layer so that that gets the same treatment as everything else. And in my selective color I'm going to go into the reds and I'm going to drag down the magenta and um, I want to lighten it up a little bit. So it's a little bit in the shadow here. And to do that, you go to your black, and you can lighten or you can darken by sliding it either up or down. So I'm just going to do just a little bit. OK, that's good. I'm going to go back to my brush. And I want to get rid of all of this, because I'm going to brush it in a little bit at a time. OK. And that way. Um, it'll get nice and feathered so that you won't have a hard line, a line of demarcation where you filled it in and it'll look really realistic. Okay, so I'm going to get a bigger brush. I want a totally soft brush this time. I'm going to take my opacity down to around 30% will work. And then obviously change your brush to white and start filling in those red spots and that'll change those. Okay. Let's get this guy right here. So that's before and that's after. And you can adjust um, the fill or the opacity too if you kind of overdid it. I think that looks good. So there you have it. How to get the red out. Let's see the before and the after again. There's your before. Let me zoom in. And there's your after. So go ahead, give it a try. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I'm always happy to answer your questions. Uh, you can leave it as a comment on my YouTube page, or you can go to my Facebook page, or you can go to my website, trishcanally.com. And I hope you try it. Let me know how it works for you. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.